Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? We're going to jump right into it here. Uh, we're going to get creative with our Glitcho mode multi-output. Uh, this is recording multiple outputs in Pro Tools. So I'm going to find a decent level for the overall out, but uh, what we have is all of the outputs uh, routed to this multi-out, which you can just basically add or delete outputs from. So that's how you can go ahead and record multiple outputs in Pro Tools. You can go ahead and assign you know, the one output like you normally would through a bus or something like that. But then uh, assign reactor uh, plug-in uh, outputs to three and four. <clears throat> and that's how I have them routed. You know, kick into one and then snare two, three and four for uh, snare hats and toms. And so, the, and so then we have our, our uh, outputs laid out cleanly. Recording multiple outputs in Pro Tools. I'm going to go radio silent. We're just going to get creative this episode. Record a beat for our next composition. Whatever that might be.
Let that be the marker about five minutes in. I think we have levels where we need them.
Thankfully, all good so far. No CPU issues or hiccups. It's good.
this shit should be easy. And it is, for the most part. So, um, you know, you want to record multiple outputs within Reactor, you know, take your standard output module, hit the add button, and then start, start taking it out, you know. Um, and by that, I mean setting the input to your tracks in Pro Tools or whatever DAW you're using to plug in, you know, number two, number three, number four, because that's what you want. You want that second input, that third input, that fourth, so that you can get that snare, that hat, that tom, those sounds isolated. So on that note, until next time.